Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is something nice, quick and simple, and that is just how to make your materials look more realistic for a vehicle. So what you might have is something which looks a little bit like this. You have your material on your vehicle here, but it's not too reflective. And that's something you do get on vehicles. They are slightly more reflective than this. As you can see in this kind of black window bit here, we have a light reflecting, but as soon as we go over to the white bit, it disappears, it's no longer reflecting. So we want to make sure that it is still there. So this just looks a bit too flat for my liking. So let's go in and figure out how to solve that. So what you want to do first is you want to open up the material for your vehicle. So let me do that right now. So this is the one which I am using. This is all I have at the moment. I just have a white color going to the base color and I've got specular set to one. This is something you might have at the moment as well, or you might just have the color in there. What a lot of people do to try and get it to be more reflective is they increase the specular value. And although that is what we want to do, that's not the only step. So this video is the next step, which a lot of people don't think of. So if you've not got the specular value in there, what you can do is hold down one and left click to connect specular into there with setting this value to one or whatever you like. So I could increase this even further to 10, for example, and you can see this is gonna get slightly more reflective. You can kind of see the difference there. But for the moment, I'm just gonna leave it at one as I think that's fine for me. Then you want to hold down one, left click again to get another constant value. And we want to connect this one into the roughness. So we also want to lower the roughness down as well as increase the specular up. So you can see already, this is a lot more reflective. We can actually see a building reflected in the background. And if we were to lower this even further, for example, minus 10, this will get even more reflective as you can see there. So you can just mess about with these values, increase the specular, decrease the roughness, and this will get you a nice reflective material that you can see here like so. If I were to apply this, we can then see the changes this has made on the van in the game like so. So you can see already this looks more effective. You can see kind of lights reflecting off of here. And if I were to move the camera, we can see that this is now gonna stay reflected on there. As I move about, we have all the different light bouncing off of and reflecting off of the van, as you can see perfectly here. It's a little bit hard to notice, but it is one of those things that you do just notice subconsciously if it isn't there. So this just adds that extra level of realism to your games to make your vehicles look that little bit better. And if you might be wondering as well where I am and what I'm using, this is a police van from the procedurally generated detective game which I am working on with Copper Gaming, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below if you want to check out more. You can check out the Steam page and you can wishlist it there and you can also check out the announcement trailer which I released on my channel a couple months ago. We're still working on the game and it's coming along very, very well. But I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've obviously, like I say, just made our materials look slightly more realistic so we can have that nice reflectiveness on our van and we can change that and modify it as much as we want as well. Again, it's very easy to just change all these values in here. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.